Hello, Popcorn Kid Crew. It's Miss V, and I'm ready to read with you. Let's jump right into our story. Let me hear you say it. Say, I am the greatest. Come on, let me hear. There you go. You are the greatest. This is a wonderful story. It is called Puss in Boots. The story has a wonderful outcome. And by the beginning of it, you're going to wonder, how can this have a wonderful outcome when it's starting like this? Are you ready for this story? Come on, let's go. It's really a fun story. Puss in Boots. There was once an old miller who had three sons. When the miller died, he left the mill to his oldest son. The middle son was given the donkeys and the youngest son, a kind man who'd always put his father and his brothers before himself, was left nothing but his father's cat. What will become of me, said the young miller's son with a sigh, looking at his cat. Buy me a fine pair of boots and I will help you make your fortune for your father's thought for your father thought you deserved it, replied the cat. A talking cat? The miller's son could not believe his ears. So the miller's son bought the cat a fine pair of boots and the two of them set off to seek their fortune. After a while, they came to a grand palace. Wouldn't it be wonderful to live so grandly, said the miller's son. Later, while the miller's son was sleeping, the cat went hunting and caught a rabbit. He put it in a sack and took it to the palace. A gift to the king from my master. The Marquis of Carabas said the cat, presenting it to the king. The cat went back to the miller's son and told him what he had done. Now the king will want to know who the Marquis of Carabas is, laughed the cat. A clever cat, the miller's son could never believe his ears. Every day for a week, the cat delivered a gift to the king, each time saying it was from the Marquis of Carabas. After a while, the king became very curious and decided he'd like his daughter to meet this mysterious nobleman, whoever he might be. It's a wise little cat there. You see him in his boots? Look at the king, his nobleman, and his daughter hiding behind the plants here. When the cat heard that the king and his daughter were on their way, he wasted no time. You must take off all your clothes and stand in the river, the cat told his master. The puzzled miller's son did as he was told, and the cat hid his master's tattered old clothes behind a rock. When the cat heard the king's carriage approaching, he jumped onto the rock and he begged for help. Your gracious majesty, said the cat. My master was robbed of all of his clothes while he was bathing in the river. The king gave the miller's son a suit of fine clothes to wear. Please join us in the carriage, said the king. So the cat opened the door and the miller's son climbed in. He looked very handsome in his new suit. The king's daughter fell in love with him at once. The cat ran on, cutting through the surrounding countryside. Every time he met people working in the fields, he told them, If the king stops to ask who owns this land, you must tell him it belongs to the Marquis of Carabas. Beyond the fields, the cat reached a grand castle. He spoke to all the people working in the field next and discovered that it belonged to a fierce ogre. The cat stood bravely in his boots and he knocked at the castle door. What a brave cat. Who dares to disturb me, roared a voice from inside the castle. 
I have heard that you are very clever, Mr. Org, the cat called. I have come to see what tricks you can do. The ogre opened the door and immediately changed himself into a snarling lion. The cat felt scared, but he didn't show it. Then he said, hmm, that is quite a clever trick. And the cat said, but a lion is a large creature. I think it would be much better if you could change into something very small, like a mouse. The ogre liked to show off his tricks. He changed at once into a little mouse and the cat pounced on the mouse and ate him up. Oh my goodness. Then the cat went into the castle and told all of the servants that their new master was the Marquis of Carabas. They were so glad to be rid of that fierce ogre, so they did not complain. The king is on his way to visit and you must prepare a grand feast to welcome him, said the cat. And when the king's carriage arrived at the castle, the cat was waiting to welcome him. Your gracious majesty, he purred, welcome to the home of my master, the Marquis of Carabas. A cunning cat, the miller's son could not believe his eyes. You must ask for the princess's hand in marriage, whispered the cunning cat to his master. The miller's son did as he was told, and the king, who was so impressed by everything he saw, he agreed. Soon the Marquis of Carabas and his wife were married, and they lived a very happy life together. The cat was made the lord of the court and was given the most splendid clothes, which he wore proudly along with those fine boots the miller's son had bought him. The have you ever heard that story before? Puss in Boots. Maybe one day you can read the longer version. I just wanted to share the five minute version with you. You guys, I'm so proud of you. Thank you so much for hanging in with the Popcorn Kit crew. I'm so excited to continue to share stories with you. Leave some comments below if you have a chance. You know what we always do. We give a hug and we send peace and love and a kiss. See you soon.